have you ever had someone see you without makeup and go, oh, are you okay? Like, <laughs> I was like, I'm are so you tired. Sick? Yeah. I'm so tired. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Cynthia, thank you so much for coming over. You're welcome, my babe. I'm so happy to be here. I'm happy to see you. How's everything been? It's been, it's been pretty, it's been pretty good. Pretty hectic, but in a nice way. I'm craving a holiday right now. No, babes, it's almost, <laughs> it's almost spring, summer. Spring, summer. It's about to get even more hectic with campaigns getting into summertime. So I think now it's time to take a holiday. Holiday, I think my, my UK visa is still valid. <laughs> the one from the Dove. <laughs> from the Dove trip. From the Dove trip. It's still valid, Actually, so... Mine too. Just, I could go back. You could go back. <laughs> we really could go back. But um, did you enjoy the campaign? Yeah. It was amazing. I feel like I tell people it's one of my best yet just because, you know, it's, it's a master brand campaign. So we're focusing on more bigger picture sort of things as opposed to you know, selling products. Yeah. And that's where I feel like I was at this year. That's the, the that's the direction I wanted to take 2019, you know, like yeah. focus on more purposeful projects as yeah. opposed to just like pushing products. So, um, so yeah, so going to London with the Dove was amazing. We were there together. Yeah. And I feel like um, the inclusion and diversity topic has been a hot topic for a while. For, for a while. But now it's so nice to see brands finally listening exactly. to what people want to see. Exactly. And I mean Dove making a call to say show us, exactly. show us real beauty. Exactly. And also not just talking about it but implementing, you know, portals for people to actually like it's almost for me there's no longer an an excuse anymore yeah. especially with like with getty images and a whole bank of images that yeah. we can select from yeah. that that um publications from select for, can select from yeah i just feel like no excuses bro yeah <laughs> i the thought of me not having to say n when i say natural hairstyle if i'm searching for it yeah. um i know for a fact an afro is not the first thing that's going to come up i literally have to say black girl natural, natural hairstyle hair. Afro. Bro, yeah. So I thought that was such a great project. Well, it still is a great project mm. because representation is being put at the forefront. Mm. It's uh, first of all, I've never seen such a diverse group of women who are called content creators or influencers in one, one space. space. Like literally, how many of us were there? Like two hundred. Yeah. 200 plus, yeah, it felt it like it. Yeah, it, it was like more it. than 200 people. <laughs> Any person that you can think of was there. was there. And I think as that's the direction that the media is going. And Dove is at the forefront, which is great. If a little girl is able to see themselves as an accountant with mm. tattoos, mm. that's so exactly. important. Exactly. 110 percent that is so important so so far it's also been my favorite campaign as yeah. well and um do you have the another beauty highlight? without distortion yeah yeah so we obviously have so much fun with having filters we have so much fun mm -hmm. with makeup there's nothing wrong but it's also so important for people to feel comfortable in their own, own skin, skin like yeah. not try to hide hide your pores where am i supposed to take them Ex exactly <laughs> they're there like um and i think it's because we've grown up to only one standard of, of beauty. beauty to aspire to. Exactly. So that's why we want to alter ourselves so much to be lighter, to be flawless. Wish you were, you were taller. Yeah. Because that's all you ever the saw yeah. like when you were growing yeah. up. So I'm so glad that conversation is changing and um, you get you get iconic brands mm. that put up their hand and say, actually, real beauty is not Have you not even seen that. them doing like Barbie, not Dove, but like companies doing Barbie dolls now that are actually like of women of color, yes. they have afros, yes. they have, you know, other Very like ex exactly, yeah, yeah, freckles, Exa exactly. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, it's, we're, we're, we're meeting, a, we're getting to a point where it's almost like changing the narrative. It's changing the narrative completely. No more excuses, inclus inclusion or count me out. 
And have you seen those dolls being made that are very inclusive? They are dark skinned girls with afros and with freckles, exactly. very LIGO. Actually, uh, for my birthday, my mom bought me um, a doll called Mathe. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's and amazing. she has an afro and <laughs> she's wearing African print clothes and stuff. So that's really cool. No, it's been it. It's good to see yeah. that um, even in different industries, mm. there's representation. Mm. Um, the narrative is being pushed mm. forward. Um, it's so nice. Like, truly, you can never become what you don't see. Exactly. And how are you feeling? Like, it's, has this campaign helped you in the industry, in, in the beauty space? How are you feeling about it? I think from the trip that we went to, first of all, the people that were there were people that are celebrated from different um, professions. Mm. Um, and just everybody was just themselves. Mm. And then when they launched the campaign with Getty, going through all the imagery, that they've already uploaded mm. it made me feel like you know what even when i want to wear my afro in its awkward stage or mm. in its shrinkage stage it's fine mm. like it made me feel like i can be more of myself i can show up as like whatever however i feel like yeah. so if i want to be glamorous let's go if i want to be toned down there's no version of me that is That's not right. acceptable exactly. you know because i got to see so many women mm. who were being celebrated purely for being themselves exactly. yeah. and you cannot help but want to be anything else you also just want to be you yes, exactly. like in whichever way or form, Shape or form yeah. yeah and also feel like you know not just about or also getting into like beauty stereotypes and stuff that what he spoke about earlier about the images that we have seen you know in media and and you know me being a plus size woman when I page through magazines you know all you'd see is size zero size two I remember I used to love like fashion I used to watch fashion tv on DSTV yeah and it would always be like this distant thing like I could never become that bad mm. you know you, from the distance yeah. sort of like you know situation you don't see, anybody you don't see anyone like, like you, you. Everybody's you know? tall. everyone is tall everyone and is skinny lean. everyone yeah. very, very yeah. lean very yeah. light you know yeah. so I have to say like I mean what I'm seeing in South Africa particularly is a a, a bigger celebration of our African body types, you know. Yeah. We have we have hips, we have thighs, we have we have we are chubby, we have love handles, yeah. all these things. And yeah. I feel like, you know, seeing more of those um body positive um um girls on Insta as well who I follow, who yeah. I've gotten to know and stuff. Not that, you know, I intentionally consciously follow them but it's popping up more and more like on my feed yeah it's popping up more and more it's when more i just real. exactly like, on social media exactly you see all kinds of people um and it's quite inspiring mm. um i also love that like i think i follow quite a diverse group of women mm. and it's so nice seeing people just being themselves, themselves. Exactly. like being themselves and we've tried so we've we've gone on it for too long yeah where as girls we've we are pitted against each other mm. because there's only one of us that, that can, can ever that, be that can the exactly. girl. Exactly. So now you'll find that people are elbowing each other unnecessarily because they're trying to be this perfect mm. person. But now when you see that actually you and you and you, you and you, you, you have can... Space. Yes, there's space. There's like space. It's, it, it's quite amazing. Because there is no one like you. And what and what and me sitting next to another plus size girl, yeah. someone can get something different from her versus from me. I mean, I follow, I can watch 10 tutorials on YouTube today yeah. of a makeup look, but it's, I follow 10 different girls because I get something different from each from one. From each one. Because they are all, they're themselves in their own unique way. And I relate to those different facets in their personalities, you know, in different yeah. ways. So yeah, I just feel like it's the perfect, it's just the right time. I feel like, you know, when things, the, the right thing th that happens at the right time is yeah. an amazing thing. And I feel like, yeah, 2019 is, is the year. Mm. Uh, they've challenged a lot of the brands um, to get on with the program. Like, <laughs> yeah. um, I've seen literally even like, especially in South Africa, because obviously that's like the closest reference. Mm. Um, we play around with a lot of filters. Obviously, mm. we wear makeup. We love it. Mm. But the thing is, there's nothing better than truly feeling comfortable in your, in your own skin. skin. Yeah. Like, at any given point in time, it's not this thing where if you're searching for certain imagery, 
it's only one type of girl. Mm -hmm. Like, I also love fashion. And for the longest time, we used to watch shows where it's literally one person. One person. But now it's so, so different. And it's, still, it's not just one little dash of change. It's yeah, like yeah, one yeah. black girl yeah, or yeah, one yeah. person of color. Yeah, yeah. It's an array of women who come in all kinds of shapes and mm. sizes. So mm. I really love that. What, what do we say to people, though, who... Um, believe talking about inclusivity and body positivity and beauty stereotypes what do we say to those people who say oh it's trending for now you know to be to be to be a brand that is about inclusion yeah. is a trend thing is it really how they feel about something like how do we how do we have those conversations where you know we celebrate what's happening you know when when a, a, a brand like that was doing something so yeah. amazing and so great what do we say to naysayers who say who who would say things for example like it's because it's, it's, it's because it's trending now it's, you have to be inclusive now it's the, the trend. reason why i don't think it's just i mean it's good that it trends yeah because every person needs to talk about it yeah. like people need to talk about it i love that they're talking about it mm. but Dove is doing something about mm, it. Mm. The reason why they partnered with Getty mm. is because of the sole There's purpose. a cross collaboration yes, that happens. They're I think. doing something exactly. about it. So it's one thing for um, brands to use just different faces, yeah. but for them to actually say we're creating a hub, yeah. it's not just for our brand, it's, it's for, for everyone. everyone. If you need an if image, yes, find it yes, here. Exactly. <laughs> that is amazing. Exactly. So yeah. you can't even say it's just a facade that they're putting on yeah. because yeah. It's, it's a conversation um, that's a hot topic at the moment. That's not it. Mm -hmm. Like for you to go and invest in that much and creating. Um, a media hub mm. for everyone mm. and anyone to even if you're affiliated it. or not or, or not, not. just so that you have that access that's where the power is yeah yeah and it challenges a lot of other brands as well to do the same do thing the same it's thing, like yeah. you have no excuse you, now exactly. like here are the images you can well, use it exactly yeah yeah so it's pretty cool so when you speak about filters i know it's all fun and games mm. but i feel like when you wake up the next morning no makeup let alone filter <laughs> Look in the mirror. Like, this me? <laughs> exactly. Oh, like, do I look like, who this? <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I feel like having, you know, a good, a healthy relationship with how you consume media as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. um, not just how you consume, how you use it as well. If you're constantly putting that filter on, you're constantly, you forget how you actually look like. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it creates this air of like self-doubt mm, that true. you actually put on yourself before anyone Any else, else even yeah. sees you yeah and then when people do um get shocked when they see you without the yeah. filter it actually validates the self-doubt <laughs> that so, you had no. have you ever had someone see you without makeup and go oh are you Is okay you? Like, <laughs> like, are you so sick? tired yeah you're so tired <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> can that stop you just stop i'm not wearing makeup today just <laughs> Just leave it at yeah. that. Yeah. No, it's good that we normalize that. Yeah. So it boosts your confidence as well, knowing that you can fully show up just as you are or however you feel. Exactly. I mean, it helps that sometimes you really just want to be glamorous mm. or you just want to boost your confidence Goodness. in some way. Mm. And I feel like <clears throat> even though I wear, I do film and I do videos and stuff and I wear makeup, I can go on the weekend, no makeup and just like a bold lip on my lip. You know, and I feel I glasses feel, is your thing. I know, yeah. We all yeah. know that. Yeah, glass is my thing, glass is my thing. But I feel like I feel like for me glass complements like a full beat. Uh, but I feel like a bright red lip is complements like a natural a natural face. Face, yeah. yeah. You just have so, like a bold yeah, yeah. lip to go with it. So I feel like still as much as I love getting glam and all of those things on the weekend, I like no makeup makeup and if I wanna just shoot it up a bit, I go with like some bright bold red lip but i love the gloss that you're wearing it's Thanks, so pretty babe. what this is, is it? more like a muted muted like pink gloss but i was about to wear this one today it's not that bad yet pass me the mirror yeah so i really like this pop of color oh it looks a bit cherry when i do um a no makeup i really would never wear a bold lip because mm -hmm. i feel it's very for me it's important if i'm not wearing makeup i don't even look like i am i'm proper bare-faced and still feel confident mm -hmm. oh that is beautiful nice, sure let's see mm. oh this is stunning does it dry matte 
it does which is why i still feel like it's so important to still feel confident and stuff without all of this hoopla i so, completely agree let's cheers to that my love cheers